So in honor of Pi Day, I couldn't think of a really cool model to use, so I thought I would just show you how to create a parameter referencing Pi to create a specific arc length. I'm gonna create two circles on a sketch. One is two inches in diameter, one is 1.75. We'll be using these to make sure that my Pi parameter works correctly. I'll create an arc inside of my sketch as well. Now I'm gonna do is set up my Pi parameter. So I'm gonna to go to my manage parameters. I'm gonna spell it P-I-E, because that's the way I like to spell it. I'll input my units as unitless. If you don't do this, it defaults to inches and your parameters will not work correctly. Also, double check if you switch between units and unitless or inches and units, sometimes those numbers get messed up. Now, whenever I create my dimension for my arc, I will switch this dimension type to arc length. After I switch this arc length, I'm going to use that parameter, so I'll grab that two inches, and I want that to be multiplied by pi to get that exact arc length matching my two inch diameter circle. You'll see your value there. Now, if I do a coincident constraint, between the end of that arc and the inner circle, which shouldn't work because the arc length is too long. But if I do that same coincident constraint, it should match exactly, and it does, to my two inch diameter circle. So that is how you create a parameter using pi. Happy Pi Day, everybody.